What's going on guys? Sean here from olightstore.com and today we are going to go over my top five tips on the things that you need to consider when purchasing not only your first flashlight, but even if you have a thousand in your collection already. So let's go ahead and get into these tips. Now here at Olight, we've been making flashlights since 2007, so that means we make them in all different shapes, sizes, price points, emitter styles, all kinds of things. But the first thing that you really need to consider when purchasing a light is the size. Because if you purchase a light that is too big for you to take with you, carry with you, use it for the things that you need to use it for, you simply are just gonna throw it in a drawer or in a box and forget about it. And that's the last thing that we want. So when you are looking at the specs of the flashlights you're interested in, please make sure that you know it's a keychain light, it's a pocket flashlight, it comes with a holster, maybe it's a monster like this Javelot here that comes in its own carrying case. You need to think about these things when you get your light because I guarantee you when you pull it out of the box and it's in a different form factor than you were hoping for, you're either going to return it or not use it. So look at those size specs and make sure that it's exactly what you're looking for. Tip two is you need to consider how you are going to use the flashlight because we typically split up flashlights into two different types. One is going to be throwers, which is going to be a very tight beam that goes an extremely long distance. The other type is what we call flood, which is going to give you a very, very wide beam, but it's not going to go anywhere near as far. So if you're doing EDC type tasks, everyday carry, or maybe you're looking for something up close, maybe you're making sure that you don't trip when you're walking in the woods, any type of task like that, you're going to want a little bit more of a wide angle beam so that you can see all around you. Here's a good example with the Baton 3 Pro. You can see that it's got a very large hot spot right there and then as you pull the light away, it's going to get larger and larger. But on the flip side, here is the new Javelot, which is a thrower, so a distance light. And you can see when I turn it on, look how much smaller that hot spot is and look how much more defined the spill is coming off of that hot spot. So again, you need to look at the type of flashlight that it is. Is it flood? Is it throw? And which one you need for your specific tasks that you're getting the flashlight for? Tip three is you need to consider the type of switch that you want on your flashlight. Do you want a tactical style light like this Warrior X4, which has this stainless steel tail switch and grip ring because it's built to hold it in a fist grip like this and be able to shine it far away? Or do you want an everyday type of light where it has a side switch instead and you hold it in that standard flashlight orientation? Maybe you're walking the dog or something like that. We even have our keychain lights where you can twist to turn them on and off. Very, very simple. So there's a variety of ways that you can use a flashlight, but you need to think about how you want to use it because the last thing that we want to see is you order a side switch flashlight and then you realize that you wanted a tail switch the whole time and then you have a product that you didn't want. So again, you either return it or you throw it in a drawer and don't use it. So please make sure, do you want the side switch? Do you want the tail switch? Do you want even a smaller light that twists on and off? Think about that for sure. Tip number four is you need to consider the type of battery that you want the flashlight to use. For example, here is the i3T. This is a super small tail switch light. It's super reliable, fantastic, and uses a AAA battery. You can find the AAA battery anywhere and it is low in cost, but there is a trade-off. This is nowhere near as bright as a flashlight that's using a higher milliamp, higher voltage lithium ion cell. We've got other lights like the extremely popular Arcfeld Pro, which actually has a built-in battery similar to your cell phone at home, and it has a flat design, making this very, very comfortable to carry on a regular basis. Or you could jump up to something like the Warrior 3S right here, which has a removable 21700 battery, which is giving you amazing output, but you can actually remove it from the flashlight. 
So just keep in mind, do you want a disposable type battery and get lower output? Do you want to have a built-in battery and get a better design like this Arkfeld Pro, a little bit easier to carry? Or would you prefer to have kind of the best of both worlds where you're getting that high output, but you can still replace the battery whenever you would like? It's something to think about for sure, and it's something you definitely need to look at when you are about to purchase a flashlight. And my fifth and final tip for this video is if you're investing in an expensive and high quality flashlight, you need to make sure that you're purchasing it from a reputable brand that has your back. For example, here at Olight, we have a lifetime warranty on our flashlights, which is truly remarkable considering that even the phone that you're probably watching this video on right now only comes with a one-year warranty, and then after that you have to either pay for an extended plan or you have to go to the store and just buy a new one. Whereas with Olight, you just hit up our award-winning customer service and we will take care of you. And we also understand that these products aren't safe queens. We know that you're going to use them for your jobs. We know that we have law enforcement, first responders, construction workers, all kinds of people who are using these products. And we understand that. Also, we offer products like I've shown you in this video in all different shapes, sizes, colors, materials, price points. So that way you can get what you need from the same brand instead of having to jump around to all these different brands to find what you need. So if you start with a keychain flashlight and then you say, well, you know, I would like to have a long distance light for my beach house, or I would like to have more of a flood style light for when I go camping. You can find all of that stuff from Olight on the same website. You can earn loyalty points with your account on olightstore.com. And there's just so much that goes into it with staying in the Olight ecosystem, like our magnetic charging system, which you can use for all different kinds of lights that we offer. I could go on and on about how Olight is one of the best flashlight companies in the world, but I think our community on the internet can tell you that themselves. I really appreciate you guys so much for watching this video. Hopefully this video gave you some things to consider when purchasing your next awesome flashlight, and we hope that you do it at olightstore.com. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful weekend, and we'll see you soon.